Island Park Beach was smoking hot today, at least around the fire that burned all morning. If you see the cars lined up and down the beach, you would think that it was a summer day, but everybody's wearing clothes fit for the weather. The crowd was ready for some fun. Do you think it's a good day to go swimming? I think it's a great day to go swimming, but I will not be going swimming. <laughs> but dozens did, and they hit the water right at noon. More than a few have done this before. Is this the coldest you've done it? <laughs> yes. It's freezing. I was hoping it was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here anyway. Yeah, we're Why, here. Because of the cause? Because of it. It's a good cause. More than $4,500 raised for high schooler Hannah Wertens, who's battling cancer. Some swimmers come every year, whatever the cost. And if the sun is shining, it's my secret telling people, if the sun is shining, it's comfortable. Just up Route 24 in Fall River, a different body of water makes a platform for a different kind of winter activity. No, our idea is to stay out of the water, not go in it. <laughs> Steve Lamb is part of a tight fraternity of ice boaters. They watch conditions carefully, and this weekend, the South Watapa became a playground for them. We have a lot of wind, uh, so the ice doesn't want to freeze when it's windy. So this has just come in in the last week. The way the weather is forecast, there will be a lot more of this than this in the next few weeks. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News in Portsmouth.